Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com and in this video we are going to look at how to write if statements in Power Query. So if functions are some of the most useful and commonly used functions of Excel. But how can you do a similar thing in Power Query? Let's go and find out. So I have this table on my screen with simply some names of salespeople, some three different statuses of a salesperson, uh, depending on their time and what they've been up to, and then their current sales of, let's say, this month. And we want to pay these people some bonuses depending on different criteria that we can run through with some if examples in Power Query. So let's start by clicking data and load in this table into the Power Query editor. So for this first example, let's imagine that those salespeople with a status of executive will be paid a slightly bigger bonus than those with a silver or gold status. Now let's do this by clicking the add column tab on the ribbon and then a custom column. There is a button provided here for a conditional column so it provides a more user friendly way for people to create this conditional logic but it is limited so I'm going to completely avoid that and look at how we can write this ourselves. So I shall click custom column that will give this custom column window beginning with the name of this column we're going to add and I'm going to name it bonus and then we have this big box where we can write our formula and underneath it a link to learn more and also this syntax checker so so far so good no errors detected on the right hand side we have the ability of adding these columns in so that we don't have to type them and potentially make a mistake now there's a few things to bear in mind when writing if formulas in Power Query. And probably the key thing, or two key things, one of them is that it is case sensitive. And everything will be written in lower case in Power Query. Uh, hopefully this will change in the future, but it is very fussy. So when we're used to writing formulas in a worksheet, we don't worry too much about case, it's going to deal with it after, even if you write the function in lowercase. Here, it's a factor. The other thing to bear in mind when it comes to if formulas is that instead of putting commas in between the logical test value of true, value of false, we're going to be using the words then and else. So for those of you who do a bit of VBA, that's going to be music to your ears, You'll be quite comfortable doing that kind of thing. Those of you uh, just used to worksheet formulas, it's quite a new ball game. So I'm going to type if in lowercase. And then I'm just going to put my space and put in a condition. There's no brackets here. And I'm going to ask if status. I'm going to double click on that column so I don't have to type it. Is equal to, and in some double quotes, executive. Exec. Executive, closing double quotes, and then the word then in lowercase. So no comma, it's if, logical test, then, and now we've got that value of true. And I want to multiply the sales figure, so I'll double click on that, and I'm going to multiply it by 0.15, so 15%. I then put the word else in, keeping it lowercase, if it's not that, I will multiply the sales figure um, by 0.08, 8%. No syntax errors have been detected. So that is our first if formula. If the status is executive, then sales multiply by 15%, else sales multiply by 0.08. No brackets, no commas, just using the word then and else and keeping that case sensitive. If I click OK, then that column is added to the table. I have this bonus column, and there we have our 15% uh, if it's an executive, and the 
uh, 10 or 8 percent sorry if it is silver or gold there's our first if formula example with that new column added you can see the m code written at the top in the formula bar and you can adjust that column up there if needed you can also see the new step applied in the applied steps area on the right hand side now let's see another example of if formulas in power query let's bring in some and and or logic so if i go back to the add column tab and if i bring in another custom column and for this column name i'm going to call it bonus two clever i know and then for the custom column let's start our if formula and this time i want to say if it's an executive or a gold status so it's going to be if the status equals executive or so we can literally just type the word or in between the two tests just like we can in vba but very different to how we would in a worksheet formula now i'm going to put in status equals gold then so back to the previous example now as we go it's going to be sales multiplied by i'll keep it as 0.15 else sales multiplied by 0.08 so the only difference here is that we've added in that the status can also equal gold using this or logic by simply putting the word or in between the two tests no syntax errors detected if i click ok then we have bonus two added and you can see how their gold statuses have actually had an increase here in bonus two compared to bonus so now on a 15 percent rather than eight percent uh, showing that formula working now we can do the same with the and logic you can simply just change the word or to and and you have that type of logic as well uh, nice and easy much easier to do in power query actually than it can be at times with worksheet formulas now for one more example let's look at using nested ifs in power query so let's imagine for this final example that I'm going to pay a different rate, different rate of bonus for executive, for gold, and for silver. So now we've got three possible actions requiring, in this case, a nested if. Now, once again, it's going to have similarities to a worksheet function, but the key difference here is the lack of commas and the lack of brackets. Let's start by adding a custom column. And let's call this, I don't know, uh, bonus three. <laughs> and then for the custom column, if, and we'll go straight in, uh, status equals executive. Then, so I'm not worrying about any or or and functions this time, the sales multiplied by and I'm keeping that at 15% else and then we go in with the next if now you can press enter to start new lines in this custom column just for readability so it may make sense an example like this having them on different lines we're now going to put if status equals gold then sales multiplied by let's say 10 percent else and we could go on and do another if function and another if function but we're going to finish it off there and say that if they're not executive or or gold sorry then we're going to multiply the sales by five percent because that would mean they must have that silver membership uh, silver status with that done we can click okay 
So here we have if, then after the else, remember that kind of brings us into that value of false, straight in with the next if, else, and finish it off. No multiple brackets to close off our function or anything like that. Uh, quick syntax check, got the green tick, we're all happy, click OK, new column called bonus three is added. And uh, yes, all good. You can see that's come back down. It's in between when, when we look at the gold ones. Now it's 10%, better than 8%, but not as good as 15%. And we can see our logic working. We can see the M code at the top, which we could always edit in future rather than having to remove any of these applied steps on the right-hand side. So that was looking at how we can write if formulas in a custom column in Power Query, and especially how it may differ to if functions that we may write in our worksheets. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel, and come check us out at computergaga.com.